Um, hello, so today we are going to do this um, uh, problems from weekly contest 329 happened today um, So the second problem is sort the students by the case stores The case store. So basically roughly what we have is we have a matrix here where the rows are per student So a row for each student and the columns values here are the exams Okay, and then these here are the scores for each exam. So for example student zero um, Had score 10 for exam zero student zero had uh, Score six for exam one and student for example two Had score let's say uh, 15 for exam three, right? So that's the idea Now what we want to do is we get a value K which is the index of, of a column and we want to sort the, sc the scores um, for each student. So we want to store the rows by that column, right? So here, for example, the column we get is two. And so this one. And so we want to sort the rows such that this column here becomes sorted in decreasing order, okay? So this immediately tells us that this one needs to be in the first row so this here needs to move to the first row um, and that's what we have here um, and then the second value is this one so this needs to be the second row for s0 and that's what happens here and then the last one needs to be will stay as the last one okay so that's roughly the idea um the the bounds are we have 250 right so if we do some sorting that is mn by log of mn it should um, it should fairly pass and so you, you could do this very straightforwardly you could just um, sort the scores and provide a key um, depending on your language it may be difficult uh, slightly more difficult than python but in python it should be really easy you can just sort the matrix that we have here by the for each row by the um, the the value in that k so what do i mean by that um, so what we can do here is just um, um, essentially what we need to return is just sorted for the score and the key that we need to give is just lambda for x so this would be a row um, and what we want to sort by is just the the value in position k that's exactly what the problem asks us to do However, this will sort it in increasing order, right? And so in Python, you could just do reverse equal to true. Okay. Say reset here, and we can run this. Um, okay, this should be key. Um, if, you, if you didn't want to use this reverse, by the way, you could also just do reverse here, right? Um, or reverse it, it's called, I think. Or you could also just um, do it manually, right? Create a new list and you go from right to left and insert elements in the list. So different ways to do it if you don't have this exact capability in the language you are using. And so here reverse equal to true um, so that we can get um, decreasing order because that's what we have here. So 11, 9, 3. So if we run this, that should be fine. And we can submit and that passes. Um, just in case you wanted to do it, um, let's say maybe in a more sophisticated, in a more like um, not language dependent way, you could use something like this. Um, let me show you here. Um, you could just have a map that has the keys as the value at position K. Um, and then from there you sort the keys in reverse order. Um, and then after that you just go through the keys and add the row that corresponds to each key. Um, yeah, so that's also a different way to do it, but in Python, um, this is pretty idiomatic and we should just use it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. In terms of time complexity, this is sorting, so um, O of an M log an M, so uh, should, should be fast. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe, and um, I would appreciate it also if you can support on Patreon, and see you on the next one. Bye.